Are we good? Hello, everybody! What is happening? It's Big Jack Films here. Welcome to another live stream. Uh, yeah, we're a little late this time. Uh, for ma main reason is is because um, uh, I've actually been having a bit of uh, issues with uh, editing this episode in terms of just stuff I have archived. So I had to take the day to completely reorganize everything. So I am so sorry for this delay um, in our live stream that we normally do around six o'clock. So that's what's been happening essentially. Uh, basically, yeah, I had some issues uh, with some stuff that I thought I'd lost, so I had to find a way to retrieve them. And so that was happening and so on. But yeah, today is going to be just simple. I'm going to do an editing stream. I'm probably going to game maybe tomorrow because I have a bit more energy around that time. But uh, yeah, that's what's going to be happening today. Just editing, catching up with this episode, which um, yeah, this is the first time I've been able to edit today. So there's that. So good to see everybody in the chat today. Tokupon, hello. Uh, Shark King, hello. Scott Wa Walker, hi. London 97, Nikita Honey Bear, hi, Honey Bear. How you doing today? Hope you're good. Uh, Scott Walker in the King Kong remake. Why did they use giant snakes instead of a T-Rex? That would have been my mind. Um, mainly because Dino De Laurentiis wanted to focus on the love story and the uh, more disaster movie approach than going with the classic adventure that we know. So there's that. All good. Thank you so much, Osiris. Uh, good to see you, Honey Bear. Hello. Hi, Curtis. Good to see everybody here. So, basic rundown, guys, as normal. Uh, keep uh, do not request too much three times to ask the question if we miss, we're sorry. Um, on top of that, uh, keep things relatively clean on the chat. Super chats are always welcome. Very appreciated. In fact, if you donate a super chat, we might react to a video. Like a really dumb, like either a dumb video or a cool video, whatever. Just keep it pretty PC. And uh, outside of that, um, yeah, just enjoy. We're going to be editing today. I'm also going to try... Um, Basically, keep it. Let's keep some music on the background for you guys. Just a little something to have, um, just for now. But let's get started here right away um, with uh, where we were last time. Actually, we didn't really progress much. Um, last time we were here, we were talking about like the conflict between Delorentes and Universal and how the storyboards were similar. So right here, if you notice, I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, right here is the Legend of King Kong, and up here is the 76 remake. So we're just going to also bring this down here so you guys can see the screen more. And I'm also going to adjust the uh, stream. You guys can see that all hunky-dory. And uh, we're going to get started here. So again, thank you guys so much. We're going to get going. What do you think we're going to fight Inuyasha or Goku? Goku act actually would probably be able to uh, take on Inuyasha. So first things first, yeah, there was a couple of things we definitely had to move around uh, in terms of just stuff. So we're just going to delete some of these because I have these in better archives now. These are going to be just rearranged and reorganized. And I hope the music's nice, guys. I might actually add more music down the line. Should be kind of fun to have. Okay. Just gonna remove some of these that we have for those all because all these are all brand new and organized. I just had to go through. Uh, thankfully, my old laptop, which my cousin had ripped the um, uh, files from, I had that as a backup. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull those out. Uh, so the first things first, I'm gonna go to 1976, and we're gonna find the start of production. Should be here. Hopefully, these can show up on the drive. All right, yeah. So these show up on the drive, which is good. So I'm gonna rip these into the thing. So these were something I was trying to look for because I swear these were probably around because I was this next segment, which was the press junket they did before principal photography. Um, I didn't know if I had the files for it. That's where we had to kind of stop. There's some storyboards and stuff here, which is cool. We got like some of this stuff. So we're gonna utilize these documents that I have here from the production of Kong 76. So here we go. We're going to add some of this into the file. And we're gonna go to fade. Go there and add a fade to where that storyboard of the snake is. On January 14th, 1976, 24 hours before... 
So yeah, this is basically this was a uh, a document that was uh, showcasing the press junket for the start of principal photography when they were filming it. Let's see here. Love the background music. So fun fact, Honey Bear, that is actually the background music from the ride Skull Island Reign of Kong at Universal Orlando. So ain't that ain't that cool? It's great music. I have the whole soundtrack. By the way, I have actually got the tickets yesterday for Universal as well, so I'm ready to go. What am I going to do? I'm going to zoom in on the date. Something like that. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Don't worry, I'm just doing a, a morphing because you can't really see the extra screen they show here, but get an idea of what's going to happen. Oh, I like that, actually. Okay. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, let's see here. On January 14th, 1996, 24 hours before... I want to change that. Let's change that. I don't like that, that move. Uh, hey, Geek Universe, we are good. We are editing the last episode of this Kong Review series. Uh, not this last... That's not the last, last episode. It's just a, um a uh, brand new um this is gonna be essentially the uh the last chapter of this arc the king's gauntlet arc so we are currently just editing that today so i actually have these documents which are really cool heard about the disney billing uh disney plus which i heard uh oh, really they're doing more disney plus stuff interesting Now, this is where it gets interesting. Let me see here. Um, I want to make sure I have everything. Um, this is all from the press conference. So, I just want to kind of add some stuff here. Oh, I know how to make this fancy. Let's see. Let's go to... Okay, I kind of like that, that one. That page. Oh, there's some good stuff here we're going to be able to use. Um, so we're going to go and add a effect here. Fidget Films, will you be able to view my fan film after the final part of this arc? Um, yeah, actually, and in fact, Toon King, I'll tell you what, send me a super chat and I can actually watch it and react to it right now. Um, there you go. We got all night. Uh, today's been okay. Uh, we were delayed on editing today because we thought we lost a few files. And, uh, thankfully, my laptop, my old laptop, which I had the drive extracted from, had all that backed up, thank God. Because there's some files here that I thought I couldn't be able to retrieve. So, this actually did help immensely. So you got this little document with all these different credits and names that were part of the press junket. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, uh, these pictures, which I like. Of these are kind of unknown. These are kind of rare pictures to the actors involved. So we're going to add that. We're going to add Charles Broden. I'm also going to put them. I'm actually going to do an effect here, which is cool. Hey, James. Love it. Good to see you. Good to see everybody in the chat today. Hope everybody's good. All right, so we're going to add that. We're going to bring up Charles Grodin, our old pal Fred. We're going to put him over here. And we're going to put Jeff... Oh, I, I like the effects I'm doing here on this episode. Um, I'm back. I had lag, so I'm good. All right, Awesome. Yeah, lag has been a kind of, it's been kind of weird for everybody lately, hasn't it? We're just gonna move him, Jeff Bridges, over here. Yeah, actually what's really cool, there's a, there's a King Kong 76 website that has a lot of great HD photos scanned that are actually really good. So I, I may have to credit them later. They are really good in terms of research. 
There we go. Um, love your Inuyasha vlogs. I'm working on my Batfleck cosplay. Nice, very nice, my man. I I love the Batfleck costume. Really cool. Okay, so we got that. Actually, I want to move Jeff Bridges a tad. Let's move the dude to the side a little bit. There we go. So at least see the King Kong. We're also going to bring him down a bit more to where Trump Fred is. Let's go a bit higher. Uh, one more. Perfect. So, let's stare. Hey, good to see ya! Oh, Jack, I have information about the gauntlet I got from, uh... Yeah, the gauntlet stuff you're sending is, is uh, I hate to be uh, DT for a minute, but run, totally run. <laughs> uh, got the info. But how's everybody today? Today's been kind of weird. I think post-eclipse, we're all kind of like, what the hell's been happening? Dino held a press conference introducing the cast of... Actually, you know what I want to do? This is a good opportunity. What I'm going to do... I'm actually going to move it over here. Let's move Fred over. We're actually going to make a fade effect here, which is cool. Here? Yeah, I like that. That looks a lot better. Yeah, let's see how this looks. To begin on King Kong, Dino held a press conference introducing the cast and Jessica Lang to the world, and with several questions asked. Actually, you know what? Hang on, I want to fix that. Let me go back. I want to add Lang into that bit because this is where she was actually introduced to Hollywood, which is interesting enough. Um, so there's a lot of photos from that press junket. And um, I have them here. I'll try to dig them out. Let's see, production, presentation, rap party, dance, wasn't that? No. Under cast and crew? I think it was under cast and crew, yeah. Yeah, I have some really good photos here from this uh, from this event. Yeah, this is them at the press junket in full color. This is right after they were all cast in the movie. I have you looked at the gameplay Bronto from Peter Jackson's? Uh, I have not. I pretty much quit playing the game to be honest, man. I'm sorry. I I can't I can't finish it. Unfortunately, it's not that good. It's not that good at all. Ugh. Find the opening nights in the future. Opening nights are kind of a little st on a stalemate right now, only because I haven't had time. I'm also prepping for my trip to Florida uh, next week. Uh, I was wondering if you could see. I think Jack might have seen it. Just get a glimpse. Um. I love the Godzilla bundle call duty. Nice. Uh, I have not seen the link to my fan film. Trouble, uh, I have a trouble putting the link through super chat. I mean, if you put it through, if you put in a super chat and then put in the link, I, I'll check it out. If you put in the, you put in a super chat first, and then you can put in the link. If it's a matter of captions, I'm gonna link Linkara. Where if you send the, the the chat and then and like the super chat and then put in the comment, I could probably do it. So let's find a good shot here from when they did casting. Here we go. King Kong, Dino held a press conference introducing the cast and Jessica Lang to the world with several questions asked how long we've done. Okay, so now Again, I gotta find images from when they when the press conference happened. Um let's see, I think that was her doing costume test fittings. Uh that's her with the statue. 
See, I got some good color ones too. This was from the press junket when uh, she was in a, a another hand, which is interesting. Now let's, uh, let's see here. Photos look great, can't wait. Yeah, there's a lot of unseen photos that you don't see in many of the um, the uh, anybody who's actually covered this film. So I'm just trying to find the right ones here, like some really good ones that kind of match well. I want to get a good detail on the hand too. See, I love the hand here, like the details on this. But I want to find a really good photo that kind of fits well with this. Oh, uh, what I'm talking about. Because I like this image. I'm going to use this image next. Okay, so let's use... I like this one, actually. This one's pretty good. Oh, we're going to paste that to make it more faded, make it look more nice. A lot of fade-ins in this one. A lot of fade-ins. We're also going to add the dolly in effect here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Thoughts on Star King? He's a cool villain. I actually do like him as a villain. He's pretty kick-ass, not gonna lie. Um, gonna get some chicken. Nice! Yeah, uh, what is it, uh... Chicken Joy on Tuesdays, Mondays and Tuesdays. They have like $5 boxes. Have fun. Thank you so much, uh, Honey Bear, for keeping up with uh, being admin on, on the uh, chat and everything. Really appreciate it. Okay, so now I want to use an image here. Doing a lot of fade outs in this one. Let's see. I like I like that image. That's a nice image. With several questions asked from how Kong would be done with modern special effects to the speculation of Fay Ray making a cameo, a dying. Yeah, I like that. I like that one. We're also gonna dolly in on it. Thoughts on Brendan Tennold? I love his videos. I haven't watched him in a while, but I mean, I mean, we're both Canadian. It'd be cool to collaborate someday. We need a spoiler opening night for GXK. That's when I get a chance to see it again. Um, I'm going to be going to see uh, my dad for a week and then going to Universal for pickups on Jurassic Park. But I will at some point uh, be uh, going to see it. Now, I think I have a magazine piece that discusses that spoiler about potential Fay Ray coming back. Let me quickly find that. I think you know what? I already have that image of that. But let me find that article. I'm pretty sure I have it here. I have to kind of dig around. Give me a sec, folks. Um, it should be newspaper clippings. Maybe let's just check here. Uh, I should have organized this, but that's okay. I'll organize it later. Uh, it's just a a remake, coming, so is the hype, Bond escapes Gorilla, um, let's see, uh, okay. I've just got a couple of newspaper articles, I gotta look here for uh, a question that was asked during the shoot, I'm actually gonna come back to that at some point, that piece is nice, um, this is the one. Okay. Longview Daily News, 1975. This was dated November 29th. Okay. This is where I can come in. Okay. So I want the daily... Uh, let's see. I had the Chicago Tribune. Independent. What was that? I just had it. Okay. Uh, it was the... Longview. Okay, it was a long view. Okay, that's what I need. Okay. A long view. Uh, ha! Okay. Going to the long view. There's an article here I can use. 
Hey Jack, I sent you a link to my fan film on Instagram. Very nice. I'll I'll check it out later, man. I know you had some roles in Monster Island Buddies. He seems like a cool dude. He's a really nice guy, actually. Um, I had fun working with him uh, when he when he asked me for shit. It's really cool. Um, let's see. So I want to add one of the articles here. Um, this is where it gets tricky. So what I want to do is kind of add sort of a pan in, but I don't want to add too much. Let's see here. Um, let's zoom out. What I want to do is have it where it's about here. And, um, let's, see, let's go up here. That. And we're also going to kind of bring it sort of horizontal. So about go to 28 so we go to 28 scroll down to there here we go so we're just gonna and we're also gonna fade it Yeah, there we go. It's with several questions asked from how Kong would be done with modern special effects to the speculation of Fay Ray making a cameo. A dying question that would never leave the production news until the film is released. There we go. I know I have also a magazine article that asked whether or not Fay Ray would be in the movie. So let me just go back to my articles. Uh. Going ape again. Uh, Jaws. Hmm. Might need to go over to the uh, questions on the um. It's like I, I know there's articles about. That was like the biggest question when they were making the movie was whether or not Fay Ray was going to make a cameo, and that ended up not happening at all. It was interesting. Uh, holy shit, we got a lot of super chats. I'm sorry, guys. Hey, hang on! Super chat! Super chat! Holy shit! Super chat! Oh yeah, here we go! Okay. Uh, do you know, uh, Philippe Pate, a tightrope walker? I Is he the one who did the tightrope on the World Trade Center? I am aware of his uh, of his thing, and I think I saw the. No, I actually didn't see the movie. Actually, that they based on that guy. Um, didn't Zemeckis direct that? I can't remember. But um, yeah, thank you so much for that super chat, Curtis. Really goes a long way. Really appreciate it. I uh, hope all is well. Uh, Huey, two more. At the moment, we're good. We're just going through the press junket that happened in January of 1976. But yeah. Really appreciate that, uh, Super Chat, uh, Super Michael 98 goes a long way. Super Chat's always welcome, guys. All right. Thank you so much. Well, let me try to find this article. Oscar for King Kong, unpaid roles. Uh, 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 no, uh, I got, like, so many, like, articles that I have to kind of go through here. Um, the Beast Revisits Kong remake. Yeah, I wish I could find a way to show you guys the articles. Let me actually go to, like, full screen. Hang on. Let me go to full screen. Um, hang on a sec. Uh, share screen. Let's go to full screen, or entire screen. Wow. Okay, so now you can see right here when I, what we're checking out. So let me go back to the editing process. That way you guys can see things. Okay, so now you can see the process of what we're working on. So there's all these articles that came out at the time for when the movie came out. So, biggest bite, ape or shark? 
1976, which is all about competing with Jaws. There's several articles on that. Whoa, hey, another super chat. Wow, Super Michael's on a row. Toot toot. Uh, wow, thank you so much. Jeff Bridges met him while filming Cog's death. Um, What was this? Oh, really? Wow, I didn't know that. So he met the tightrope walker. That's so cool. You know, I'm surprised with that movie. I've never seen that tightrope movie. That they didn't pay homage to that where he they actually recreated the scene at the World Trade Center where they're filming the ending. That would have been actually really cool if they did that. So, yeah, that's really cool. Thank you, Super Michael98. Uh, just an answer to your question, uh, Toon King, uh, we only react to Super Chats. Just stuff I let you know. Um, but yeah, really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much for that. Like, that really goes a long way. Super Chats are always welcome, guys. We are on a roll. Two. Okay, back, back to the story. Back to the story. Okay, so let's go back to the, that article. So there was a lot of that going on at the time. Oh, uh, wait, hang on. I have, to, I have to show the screen. What am I doing? There we go. Okay, hang on a sec. Okay. So there's like this. There's some stuff with Rick Baker here. So there's like some rare photos. Um, ain't what it used to be. De La Rantes goes ape over King Kong. There's like a whole thing where like... Um, there's a lot of stuff here. Like, what is this? I hear Uns unscholarly disclosed by Studio Publish tells problems about remaking old movie King Kong, Meyer Feyre, and perhaps Empire State Building, most famous visitor, was the subject of very unsocially discourse last night. There was a discourse. Wow. Paramount Publicist, um, was the world really ready for another Kong? Some people in Hollywood always felt moviegoers would like another a remake of King Kong. I always thought it would be like remaking Gone with the Wind. Oh, boy, buddy. No. Uh, Gossipy Light hearted, cynical talk on remaking Kong. Um, we thought about getting Barbara Streisand to play Fe the Fay Ray part. We oh, that's terrible! Look at what they said about Barbara Streisand back in the day. We thought about getting Barbara Streisand to play Fay Ray, but we felt her nose would be in competition with Kong. Damn! Damn! These guys are fucking mean! That is mean! Wow! Wait, why am I not on screen? Do you guys see me? Oh, okay, there we go. I'm not on screen. Wow! That's just mean. That is horrible. That is really mean. Uh, former editor of the Sunday featured selections of Defunct News Evening, he also said to the publicist for The Great Gatsby, which drew more of one laugh uh, student audience, 1949 version of Alan Ladd was much better. Yes, article. Yeah, newspaper articles were much better sources than we have now. Haven't gotten, we haven't gotten Kong, but we have a hand. At least we had one. It fell from a crane, shattered, had to shut down production. Yeah, that's apparently about how like apparently one of the hands like collapsed and it, it broke the mold. They're going to build a forty mecha foot mechanical monster. So yeah, it was just all about that back then. Holy shoot, that was mean. Um. Calling it 55 million, a waste of an evening. I think this was a critical review. For King Kong's sake, I hope the gigantic remake of the story to open at Christmas will be an equally huge success. Del Rente's sake. Yeah, so there's was saying there was like huge debates of whether or not they were going to do it or not. King Kong plunged into a thousand gaps. So you got like when they were filming. This was, okay, this was June 22nd. So this is when they were filming at the World Trade Center. This was at the New York Times when they were filming. Uh, in the middle of summer, actually. So we got all these articles here, which are really good, but I'm, again, I'm just trying to find the one that aims to talk about the potential cameo with Fay Ray. Actually, this artwork's pretty good. I do like this artwork. That's actually really nice. Um, Waiting for King Kong. Kong Returns, 13,000 uh, pounds. Let's see. Uh, again, I'm just trying to find the one with... Um, Oh yeah, here, this is an interesting one. It has multiple releases. It is, is the King Kong remake a disaster area? Recent magazine reports claim that producer De La Rente's replies, absolutely not. Other movie makers would have enjoyed such a disaster. Hence the transplanted Italian as a, he proceeds. 
with a record-breaking release of King Kong worldwide at Christmas. We 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 will make a thousand prints for the United States, fifteen hundred for the rest of the world. Says the producer. No picture has ever had such a release in history. This guy, I think it was actually interesting. I think Kong seventy six was also one of the first movies premiering at the Toronto International Film Festival. I believe. Let me look that up. Again, I'm trying to find the question about Fay Ray because I know there's articles on that. Alright, is that all the articles we have? Okay, let's try one more thing that I have handy. So I have a lot of these sort of uh, issues from the time that are like really good. So let me go back a bit. Let's see here. Um, there should be a question about Fay Ray here in one of these articles. Check over here. Uh, this is from uh, King of the Monsters magazine, dated uh, April 76, 77. It's from Filton Famous Monsters. Um, let's see, I know this was a big question at the time if Fairway was going to be in Canada. Just trying to get confirmation on that through the articles. Uh, World's number one Fall Guy. This is all when they were doing the Big Kong. Let's say Anything on Fairway? to find her name. I like that shot, actually. That's a nice shot. People running away as Kong's attacking. That's pretty cool. Uh, and again, thank you so much, Honey Bear. Really appreciate it. Uh, out of Kong Troll. They were not subtle on the puns back in 76, 77. I have not seen Kung Fu Panda 4 yet. And now, fun fact... That is Forrest Ackerman of Famous Monsters of Filmland, who was on the set. Alright, this is, uh, John from the Mole People, who plays the mayor of New York. Jo uh, J yeah, John Ager is the guy who, um, was in that. Um, where there was something. There's Forrest again. Hey, Super Chat! Thank you! Another Super Chat from Super Michael 98 Really appreciate it. Uh, hear it from the man himself. Watch uh, S. Biff's 2017 Jeff Bridges King Kong at the 150 watch. Okay, you know what? Let's do that. Uh, let me go to YouTube. And I have to look that up, actually. Let's look that up. So, S. Biff 2017 Jeff Bridges. Um, S. Biff 2017, I think? Hang on. 17, Jeff Bridges. Okay, so he would know what he's talking Okay, let's hear what he has to say here. Let me see. Okay. Uh, okay, I see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we got something. Okay, so we want to uh, hear King Kong. Okay. Uh, and it's where he's talking about King Kong, right? I think I... Do I have this interview? I don't know if I have this interview. Let me check my clips. Behind the scenes. What is it? Uh, S. Biff? Here, let's see here. Uh, Rick Baker. Screenplay Archaeology. No, I don't have that. I'm going to have to grab that clip then. Thank you so much. We're going to have to look that up. Hang on. No, uh, Honey Bear says she might fall asleep. So if you guys want to say goodnight, that'd be great. Um, Toon King, I will get to your super chat in a sec. Again, thank you so much. Guys, this is so incredible. Thank you. Okay, so let me, uh, let me put you guys, let me pause the music for a sec. Stop the music! Stop the music! Alright, let's see what's, uh, Super Michael, let's see what he has to say. Go to 150, right? Okay. So let me, uh, let me put you guys on here in full screen. And here we go. Really appreciate everybody sending super chats. It's really awesome. Okay, ads. Can you guys hear it okay? Just make sure you guys can hear it. Let me know if you guys can hear it. Can you guys hear this? Let me know if you guys can hear it. A lot of debate. One of them has really had its reputation grow over the years since then, but took a lot of flack at the time. And those were the 1970s. Yeah, here we go. So 150. Let's talk about that. Let's hear what he has to say. And then the Michael Cimino 
1980 film. You don't hear anything? Which we talked about last night when Isabel was here. And uh, I guess the question is, you know, these were probably bigger in, in size and scale, I would guess, than anything you've done up to that point. Ever imagine? Uh, let me go. To, here we go. Well, let's see where it began. Both of us, you know, when you ask me these questions, my brain just, you know, goes crazy. Watching this, the first clip that you said there, you saw, you know, in the beginning of the uh, presentation here. Here we go. Uh, it, it, what occurred to me is it, it's almost like different incarnations you know, that you have as an actor. And you see all these lifetimes flashing in front of you, you know, and as you mentioned, those two movies I did. So he has to say. Because they were both very long, I think. Uh, 150, okay. King Kong was like nine months long. You know, Heaven's Gate was easy six. Nine months they were shooting that? Like, that's literally the same length they did Son of Kong. That's insane. Yeah. Um, and, I, you know, it's, so, uh, you know, my mind is kind of jangling about so many stories of each one of those you know, each one of those movies that I want to tell, I just the story just popped into my head just now. King Kong story. We're shooting um, the death of Kong or the monkey. Let me actually just quickly grab the image so you guys know what he's talking about, just in context. Uh, if I can go to the behind the scenes, let me go to the production. Uh, so just to give you an idea of when they were what they were shooting, I have the uh, when they were filming in New York, and they were filming the Styrofoam Kong, like the the model. And I think I have it here. Let's check. I go to where is it? Uh, here. So they were filming this scene. Just in context, they were filming this. Uh, this exact sequence was the death of Kong at the World Trade Center, and they had like little coupons and stuff for when they were filming. But let me go to where they were actually like shooting, shooting, um, which I think was. So with the cast. It was what, yeah, it was this scene right here that they were shooting. So I'll just bring this up just in context. So we know what the hell Jeff Bridges is talking about. There's Jeff right there uh, filming the ending, but let's see what he has to say here. Let me go to here and let me pull him up so you guys get a better context so you know what he's talking about. There we go. Falls off the towers and we're at the train towers. That's where this was. The monkey fell at the bottom. And this little guy comes up to me and says, Do you like my temple? So you tell is it my temple? I walk across the temple. I walk across. Oh wow! So you walk across and I go, and I realize this is for me Patina. This is the guy who walked across, you know, the Bob Demetrius, another uh yeah, Senate Barbarian, uh, you know, made yeah, the walk, you know, about his life. And uh, there he was for Luke Petit, and I think it was that year, was it seventy six? I think it was year. And uh he, uh, in about five minutes, he taught me how to juggle. He says, you juggle? I said, well, I'll show you. And he, and he, he taught me how to juggle. And um, he was uh, he was sentenced for walking across. His punishment was to perform for free in the park for a year. Wow. And you would see him when we would be shooting. You would see him. Who's the one to meet this guy? On a unicycle. <laughs> And he would come like this to a group of people and without saying anything, you know, he would line people up, face, you know, uh, you know to do a show. He would get some strong looking guys. Uh, you, you know what? Uh, thank you so much, Super Michael, for that suggestion because I'm going to put that in the, I'm going to put that in the review, actually. I'll write that down. I'll put that down. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Man, that goes a long way. Really helps the channel and everything. Wow. That's incredible. Um, would you rather watch King Kong Lives or Terminator Dark Th Fate? King Kong Lives. But wow, thank you so much, Super Michael, uh, for that suggestion. That's going to go in the video when I talk about the Styrofoam Kong. Really appreciate that. But we're also going to go to Toon King. Uh, Primal Fear. He wants us to watch that. Okay, we can take a quick glimpse, man. I don't know if I have my Instagram on me, like online. Let me just check if I have Instagram on my browser. I don't think I do. Do I? Hang on. 
Do I have it? I'm quite curious if I have it. I don't know if I do. Let me check that. Really appreciate that. Like, really? Okay, yeah, we do. Okay, so we do have it. Okay, let's see what he's got here. Um, We're going to watch this uh, Primal Fear. Okay, so I'm already technically Tootin' King. I have seen this. But um, we'll watch it for you because we really appreciate that super chat, man. Like, that really goes a long way. So let's uh, let's pull this fucker up. All right, there we go. Okay, so this is his fan film, Primal Primal Fear. Um, I'm also going to play it at a little bit of a speed just to speed things up, just so we can get back to work as soon as possible. But, uh, yeah, man, like, I'm, I've seen this, and I actually did enjoy it for what it is, but let's see what we got here, okay? Let's see. Hopefully it's not copyright. If there's copyright, I might have to mute it for a degree, but let's go. Hey, Dad, good to see you. We're watching fan films because Super Chatter sends stuff. Oh, hang on. Also, I gotta, I gotta, uh, I gotta put myself on. What am I doing? You can't see my face. You cannot see my face. You cannot see the face. All right, here we go. But I'm gonna save that video. Uh, so it's basically the the. Uh, oh God, it's the it's the teaser trailer for the Lost World Jurassic Park. Whoa. Okay, that was cool. Holy shit. It's like creation. Oh no! The stock footage from Godzilla 98! This is really good, actually. Well edited. Very well edited for the budget. Meanwhile, in the the King of the Lost World footage... Oh, bear my Jared. I'm gonna... I'm gonna uh, Toon King, I'm going to riff the hell out of this. I, I'll say this: the camera quality is really good here. Uh, also, uh, Life Post Films, if you're on chat, you might want to review this. Yeah, we already got some copyright issues. Gotta be careful with that. I mean, like the acting is really good. The uh, the production quality is quite solid. Like, I'm already, the quality is fantastic here. I'm definitely at some point probably going to review this as part of the fan film stuff, because there's some fan films I have been getting in that I will probably take a look at. Yeah, everybody say hi to Dad in the chat. I throw expensive fake phone! <laughs> oh, no! It's the background for Mighty Joe 98! And suddenly there's docs in the corner. Oh my god! We're on the set of, of that equals yes King Kong run! I know a uh, tune kit. Oh wow. Ah! And also I'll say this, the green screen's really good when I when I was sent this. The green screen was fantastic. Oh. I see what you did there, Toon King. You did a reference to my remake. I, I see you. Oh, oh, cover it, cover it, cover it. No, cover it. No, no. I'm going to be mindful of copyright, by the way, because I just don't want to get uh, demonetized. My God. Photoshop. Photoshop. The abominable snowman. It's funny because when we did our remake, we actually dug a hole. We actually made a footprint, and the footprint is there to this day. Can you not hear it? It's a little light because of just the, the, the capture I'm using right now. I don't know if there's a way to fix that. Let's make sure here. Volume mixer. Yeah, everything's pretty good. All right, how's that? That might work a little better. Again, like, the production quality is really good on this fan film. I'm actually very impressed. Oh, no, stock footage. I, I, I don't know why I, I joke stock footage, but honestly, stock footage is fun. Again, Light Post Films, you might want to check this out. This might be a good one to review. 
Oh no! We ended up in the BBC! We're, 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 we're stuck in the BBC. Now why are we suddenly talking British? Again, I, 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 I joke. But honestly, like, it's well edited, well assembled. Like, this is really cool. What I would love to see is, um, a, like, a re-edit where they actually add effects. I think that would be pretty cool. Honestly, yeah, like, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed with the cinematography and, and the way it's shot. Like, it's well made. Like, I don't know if you guys storyboard this, but this is really good. There's multiple raptors. We're surrounded by multiple sets of stock footage. Again, you can, I think, you know, it's a school project, so I'll forgive them. But also, I really like that it, um, there's, like, multiple... Angles like they they really use the stock footage to to a well done. This is like Bangler King Kong in terms of how they use the footage. Like I'm getting Bangler King Kong vibes here. As a school project, this is very impressive. Like I'm not gonna lie, I would have given this an A plus. I've seen this move. There we go. That that there we go. Again, this is like, again, also, Dad, I should point out, I have to keep the sound to a minimum because of copyright, so I have to bear that in mind. Again, this is really good. I can see they kind of took, he took the concept I have, because in my, in my remake of King Kong, there was a planned scene with a couple of raptors uh, cornering Anne, and then Kong would come in and save, save her. It's in the deleted scenes. But I could see how he probably took some of those concepts. And uh, put them into his film. So you know what? I'm okay with that. Kudos to you, man. Again, this is like very well edited together. I'm I'm very impressed with this. Like in terms of stock footage. Like you know how to handle it. Do it well. That's really good. You can kind of get an idea of what's going on. Like this is like again... I've never honestly seen a stock footage, like, recreation done this good. This is almost like watching one of my animatics. You know, I'll probably review this at some point. This is not bad. I just think, like, if unless it's got, like, the full effects is when I can really judge it. But as a stock footage film, it's great. It's a great experiment. I like this guy. This guy knows what he's doing. Your movie's on May 17th. Uh, Link me, send me a super chat. I'll probably take a look. Oh, again, cover. I gotta be mindful of the cover. The cover, it's the only thing I gotta be careful of. Again, this is real, like, the sound mix is great. All this is actually well done. Uh, that's funny. Is that the lamp before time music? <laughs> oh my god, you know what? I'll give you props to that, Toot King. Using lamp before time music? Yeah, you know what, guys? I'm gonna link y'all to this fan film in, in the chat. Hang on a second, let me put this in. Let me put this in the chat. I'm gonna link y'all. This is really good. I'll link y'all to it. You can check it out. Um, it's right there. Let's continue. But this is very well done. Give this guy support. Give this guy some love and support. This is really good. Like, honestly, this guy's got talent. Anybody near the green screen set? <laughs> oh, is this the mu I know this music. This is from uh, Rescuers Down Under. I can recognize the, 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 the music to this. Again, this was really well done. In like the I'll say this. The green screen compositing is very impressive. Again, this is a huge... This is because Toon King sent the Super Chat in terms of reactions. Like, this is great. This stuff's good. Ah, it's very... Ah, look. Primal. Or uh, pr uh, primeval. 
You can see the influence. He also, I think, sent me the whole series of Primeval on a USB drive, which I should watch. Yeah, this is all this is all really good. I like the cave drawings. Like, did you draw those, Tim King? Because those are very well done. Oh, I think there's gonna be cover right here for a sec. Oh, I see what they're referencing. Hang on. I see what they're referencing. I okay, this wide shot, I'll admit, is pretty impressive. That's really impressive. Okay, you know what? You know what, Toot King? I'll give you credit. This was really good. You know, I've seen this. this is my second time watching this. I had a good time with this. Uh, I really, really appreciate the super chat on your end. Uh, thank you so much for that. Um, that was really good. I was uh, thoroughly impressed with that. Very well done. Cinematography is great. Compositing is fantastic. I'll probably at some point do a review. I don't know when, but uh, yeah, this is, goes a long way. And again, guys, go subscribe to Toon King. Uh, his stuff's out. That's really impressive from what I've seen. But anyway, let's get back to work. It's fun to have those little detours once in a while. But uh, let's get back to work on this episode. But I really like that. That was really good, man. Very well done. Now, where were we? Okay. So we were trying to find an article on whether or not Fay Ray was going to be in the movie. And I'm pretty sure it's here somewhere. I just cannot remember. For the life of me. Um. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm actually going to find a photo of Fay Ray, and uh, that's what we're going to do on that end. So let me just uh, go to... First of all, let me just uh, put back on the screen the thing here. Uh, there we go. Love you too, Dad. Thank you so much for coming in. All right. So let's go and uh, put you guys back on this thing here. Share screen. Pinnacle Studios. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm also going to fix that. Okay, so let me just quickly go find something, because I cannot, for the life of me, find an article on this. Uh, articles, do souvenir programs, magazines, articles. There should be something here. I'm on a website for this, so I can find this stuff a lot easier. Uh, March 77. Uh, hmm. April 77. Uh, it might be here, actually. Hang on. Let's look Let's look through uh, here. Okay, it might be here. Let's see. Voice of Kong. That's some concept art I actually need here. Um, here we go. Okay, we got the article. Okay, it's from Famous Monsters of Filmland. It's from uh, issue 125. Okay, thank you. We got this. Okay. But there you go, Light Post. You got yourself an episode. Fantastic. Again, uh, Honey Bear and everybody involved, thank you so much uh, for keeping the chat busy. All the admins, Osiris and, Nik and Nikita... And you know what? Maybe I'll get my dad here to be a, to be an admin. That'd be pretty cool if he could uh, be an admin on here as well. Really appreciate y'all coming in for this. Uh, all right, so let's go to where do I have that ish that uh, thing? I think I put under the production. And it's one of these famous monsters issues. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Famous monsters. Okay. Okay. By the way, uh, Light Post Films, uh, meet my girlfriend, Nikita. You both can say hello. Okay, that's the article. It took us a while, but we got it. Okay. Back to business. A dying question that would not release the production news until the film's release. At the press, Light was... Okay, here we go. So. 
Now I want to go to the article. Uh, let's see. That's it. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna go to zoom out or zoom in actually. So yeah, this is just a little a little concept. Just I'm basically just cropping for a sec. You guys can't see it, but I'm just uh, cropping this down to where you can see uh, what I'm talking about. There we go. Here. Here. There we go. Here and here we go. Now this is how it's gonna look. There we go. So you see that? That looks pretty good. Alright. And thank you, admins, for keeping the chat going. Dissolve that. There we go. A cameo, a dying question that would never leave production news until the film's released. So you can see that. These are these are um, some of the questions asked. Kong won't be climbing the Empire State Building. No, this time he will be the Trade Center Building, and he'll be fighting jets rather than biplanes. That is correct. That is a lie because they couldn't. Apparently, they were trying to get the Canadian military, and they couldn't, so they brought in some helicopters instead. And will Faye Ray have a part in the picture? No. Was she asked? No. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Like, no. God damn it, no. <laughs> Faye Ray will not be in this picture. <laughs> um, let's see. If there's one thing about Brock, I should know that we both fond of He-Man. <laughs> Jack, give me a give me a heads up in advance, but that's dope. Let's see here. Alright. So, moving on. Okay. Now let's get this fa these Fay Ray photos in here. Cause these are some okay, so these are some really cool photos you guys are about to see. So when they get the press conference, they had Fay Ray in this like replica of the hand but it wasn't like the hand hand like it was like um yeah here so it wasn't one used in the production it was a totally different beast at the press Lang was escorted over to a prototype display of Kong this is where she took like a bunch of photos with this thing of Kong's full-size hand for press photos, which here is our first clip. Alright, so I just gotta get a bunch of different photos of her in the hand. Uh... I like that one, but I'm gonna save that one. Uh, is that better quality than this one? Uh, maybe. No, let's just do one more here. Yeah, I like that one, actually. Which here is our first clue for the King's Gauntlet, and easily, and in easy one at that. Okay, so we have a little editing error here, so I have to fix that. I'm just gonna move the, the chat, by the way. There we go. Outlet and easily. And an easy one. There we go. So I'm just gonna move that. Let's go ahead and reduce the power a little bit. Outlet and an easy one at that. I'm also gonna just kind of things here. I'm also gonna zoom in on these pictures because these look pretty good. Oh, let's see here. There's one thing Brock and I, He-Man, uh, I saw this when I was some behind-the-scenes primeval. That's awesome. I'll make sure to share that with Jack. Why me? Um, a moderator. Why me? Because you're the chosen one. Okay, that's funny. Uh, let's see. I can't keep track of the chat, actually, guys. Oh my god, you guys are rocking it. Hmm. 
My birthday is on May. Uh, if the movie coming out on the seventeenth, then it'll be my birthday on the fifteenth. Hey, happy early birthday! Holy moly! It must be your birthday. Okay. Oh god, how far do we go? It's cool to just finally just show all these photos that I've been saving for a while for this particular episode. That's the best part. Okay. Do you think I'm I'm mod material? I mean, if you want to be, man, like, I'll... Next stream, I'll, I'll put in some new mods. I think that'd be kind of cool to have. It was until the film's release. At the press, Lang was escorted over to a prototype display of Cog's profile and for press photos, which here is our first clue for the King's Gauntlet, and it is easy for that. This particular hand was made... Okay, so this is what's going to be interesting. So I have to grab some certain photos here. That shows the hand. There we go. This particular hand was made from plaster, from the same molds as the full size sculpted hands, which was hit. I was gonna kind of uh, make this a little bit. We're gonna kind of zoom out here. Again, I'm just doing a quick little cropping. Guys, hang on a sec. Holy shit, another super chat. Oh boy, oh boy, hang on, hold up, hold up. Super chat from Brightside Dylan. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Hey there, Jack. I take it because Pandemic won't talk about Ruby. He probably won't touch uh, My Hero Academia artwork some guys made for um made for me. See, okay, so I have not watched My Hero Academia, unfortunately. Uh, I actually plan not to because I think it's a very toxic uh, community of fans and a very kind of not really my cup of tea to be honest. But um, yeah, I don't know if I'll really touch that or Ruby. I don't know. I'm not really interested in that kind of stuff. But we do appreciate the super chat, Brightside Dylan. Uh, it goes a long way. Um, thank you so much. Fantastic. Oh my god, we are doing such good wonders here today, guys. Thank you so much. That is a that's a huge donation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, back to work. So I'm gonna go a bit more up like that. Really appreciate that one. I'm standing right here. I'm reviewing Ruby for my 100th episode. Oh, no! Oh! Oh! Fandemic! Bro! Indie fan, run! Oh, no, you're not ready! No! He wasn't ready! Oh, no! Alright, so that's a pretty good one. Man, Brightside, thank you so much. That goes a long way for us. This particular hand was made from plaster, from the same molds as the full-sized sculpted hands, which was handed over to mechanical Italian master Carlo Rambaldi. Okay, so this is where we gotta bring in Mr. Carlo Rambaldi, um, which I have plenty of stuff to use with him. Okay, let's see. Is Carlo in these photos? I'm not sure. Oh, he is! Perfect! Fantastic! Okay. Here we go. Sized sculpted hands, which was handed over to mechanical Italian master Carlo Rambaldi. We'll get. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna crop this sucker. Zoom out. And I'm just doing a lot of cropping, a lot of, uh, Edits in the cropping. And we're gonna come down. Add Carlo here. 
bit more prominent in the photo. Drop a little bit. Up there. And bring him down. And we're gonna zoom in on him. There we go. That's pretty. There we go. Really appreciate that super chat from uh, Bright Buzz. Wow! Okay, holy shit, another one! God damn, guys! Watch this, link below. Um, alright, we're waiting for the link, man. Where is it? Where is it? Super Michael 98 thank you so much! That's incredible how much we're getting right now, guys! Wow! Let's really stick it. Oh my god, I would be shocked if we hit, like... Uh, I would be so shocked... If we legitimately hit a hundred dollars after this super super chat, if we could do that, that'd be amazing. All right, Super Michael, where is this link? Pass it over. Pass it over, buddy. We're waiting. That's insane. Thank you so much. Honestly, if we imagine hundred, oh my god. God damn. Um. Favorite character. I like the guy who's sort of like Trapper in GXK. Hold on, I can't see a link. I don't know if I can get. I can't really get links on the on uh, on the thing. But you know what? Uh, tr uh, try. Can you message me on uh, Instagram or something? Or you know, what? just uh, type in what it's called. Uh, type me in what it's called, and I'll uh, try to figure that. out. But I gotta figure out how to get links. Like, there's gotta be a way to get links onto the super chat. Yeah, actually, that is true. Um, this counts for Super Chats. Um, on my Patreon, one of my tiers is that if you send $100, um, I will cover a Big Jack Films review. I just make sure it's to my liking. The only thing I cannot do is political films or any kind of real-world, like, dramatic films. Like, if you ask me to do something like, like Threads, big no-no. Not doing that. But, uh, yeah, any particular film... I'll make time in my schedule to do a review. But yeah, so where is this uh, Super Michael? Just uh, type in type in what it's called and I'll look it up. But wow, really thank you. Really appreciate that, Super Michael. Send it our way. Um, let me go to... While we're doing that, we'll just wait and we'll work on this. We'll wait for him to find the link. Holds the full size of hands, which was handed over from the pinnacle Italian master. We'll get to the details later, but this hand is what written. Okay, so this is where I gotta find that other part of the hand. Uh, what is the title? What is what is the title, uh, Super Michael? I can't see it. Just got to, uh, that's the whole title. Hang on. I I can't see the title. Uh, Space Hunter M. He scream. Is that the title? He scream. Okay, okay, that's what it is. Okay, all right. We'll take a look at that. Let's look that up. Uh, hopefully it's nothing scary. All right. Space Hunter M. Oh, okay, is it, is it the one with Godzilla? Is it the one with God? Oh, I know this guy! I love this guy! This guy puts out good content! Hang on. I will, let's go look at this guy. Hang on, hang on. Let me just turn down the music. I know this guy! This guy's cool! I'm also gonna put up the, again, reactions? Super chats always get reactions. Okay, present. Share screen. Uh, entire screen. Okay, so it's this, right? It's this here, the Godzilla. Hopefully I don't get copy dinged, a copyright dinged. Okay, let's see here. So it's this one, right? I I'm scared. I'm very scared what is on here. Okay, let's see what we got. Brace yourselves.
Michael, that's funny. Oh my god. <laughs> that's hilarious. Thank you so much. I needed a laugh today, actually, so that goes a long way. Good lord. Okay. Oh, and hey, uh, guys, uh, can you also send a shout out to, to Harold of Vortis? Um, great voice actor, uh, does has starting up some Lego stuff coming up. He is um, actually the voice of Gablor and who plays Mr. Bootleg Plinkett in the show. Uh, please go to say, Godzilla goes to hell. Go check out his stuff. Uh, really would appreciate it, guys. Uh, awesome. Awesome. Look at that. I love light post. Hey there, Mr. Gablor. Or, or hi, Mr. Yo Gabba Gabba. <laughs> I got to make a joke about that at some point. But really appreciate that. Thank you so much. That was really funny. You know, uh, uh, Super Michael, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. That is hilarious. My God. Okay. Back to business. <laughs> ah! You know, I never... It's funny, because with Tom and Jerry, I always felt the 90s movie one was funny. Like, the, the 90s movie Tom yell was funny but with it's like yeah but i like this one oh my chest i'm i'm in tears right now bro that's funny okay so let's get back to business here my god oh oh my stomach hurts guys that was funny that was really really funny i'm actually like i'm i'm dying of laughter that was hilarious Thank you. I really actually needed that. My god. Holy shit. Reaction, doing reactions live is actually really fun. So I'm pretty sure I have, like, the press photo hand here somewhere. Let me reach into my archives. Um... I mean, yeah, again, super chat. Super chat video reactions always welcome. Oh my god. Like the things people come up with in terms of uh just the funniest shit. It's fuck that was fucking hilarious. Oh my god. Now where was this I have this photo somewhere of the Rambaldi uh thing, which is interesting. How good of a dancer are you? Um, meh. Very, very, very meh, to be honest. But I, I can, on occasion. I can, I can whip the move here and there. 
All right. Let me try to find this this photo. I had it. And then I lost it. And I'm like, what the fuck did I do with it? Uh, Rimbaldi? Is it on a, no, it's not a Rimbaldi. I knew I had this photo. But where was it? That's concept art. My god. Models, storyboards. All right, let me just try to find this photo of... There was a photo of the hand that I had that was really good. It's good to see everybody in the chat. Again, huge thanks to uh, Honey Bear and Osiris and everybody monitoring the chat. It really goes a long way. Really helps us out. And I really appreciate you guys. Honest to God. Thank you. Okay, so let me try to find this photo of the hand. That's like a really good quality. Like it's not, it's like a big long shot too. So I had it. I can't remember where it is. Uh... When I see the flashy colors, I know that's a super chat, so... God. I hope you guys are having fun today. You guys are getting an entertaining stream tonight. This is actually more fun than doing the gaming. Oh my god, Light Post! Okay! Okay, thank you, Light Post! Thank you! Down below, okay, what do you got? You might have to send it to me via messenger, actually. That might be a little easier. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Guys, go subscribe to Lightpost Films. That really goes a long way. Um, but let's... Uh, we're doing really good right now. Holy shit. Um, okay, he sent it to me via Facebook. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, no. Oh, please. Okay, for the love of God... Uh, Lightpost, please don't be anything too crazy like don't make it like i know what you did one time to me and i'm like all right let's see let, let me just uh let me just go let me remove this let's do this okay these react these are great you guys are loving this you guys are just torturing me right now aren't you okay let me go to uh share a screen in fact at this point i should just like share my whole screen it just makes it a lot easier okay so it's this. Okay. So no, not that. Not the scream. Okay. What do we got here? What is this? Whatever you're eating right now probably shouldn't go in your face hole. Brock, what is this? Should I be afraid? Whatever you're eating right now probably shouldn't go in your face hole. Which hole should it go in? Somebody please help me. There's a lasagna in my ass, and I don't. <laughs> This is a quick video. <laughs> this is why. I... <laughs> <laughs> There's a lasagna in my. <laughs> Where do y'all find this shit? Oh my god! Christ! Why? What is wrong with y'all? Good lord! Okay. Back to work! My god! Thank you so much for that, uh, uh, Light Post Films. That really goes a long way. Thank you. My god. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. Let us continue to where we were. Okay, here we go. So I have to find this piece here. It's a thing of the fake hand. I can't remember where it is. Also, let me know if you want me to uh, change the music at all. Let me just bring it down. There we go. Um, my God, that was funny. Thank you so much. All right, where is this bloody goddamn thing? I had it. I can't find it. I don't know what it did with it. It's gotta be one of these. I think. Let's go here. People are just odd here. Yeah, it's but it's funny. It's funny. That's one thing I will say. It's funny. My God. Hey, Dean. Good to see you, man. Good to see you on the stream. 
Okay. Where the bloody... I had a really good photo of the, uh, the hand that was, um, basically, uh, prototype. I'm just trying to remember what the hell I did with that. Um, let's see. Hope everybody's been good in the chat today. Say, saying what did uh, what Shark King sand here? Uh, but where the bloody hell is this thing? Nice, that looks cool actually. Thanks, uh, Shark King, for sending me that. That actually looks like a fun movie. Not gonna lie. That looks like a bronchitis. I mean, it wasn't bron a couple months ago. I mean, it's gone. Practically gone. That was after I got... It was complicated because of COVID, actually. That's what happened to me. Um, turns out. So where... Again, I gotta find this piece. This is... I had it, and then I lost it. I knew I should have just grabbed it. Let's see here. Um... Because I know you guys are probably getting tired of looking at the same images. Let me just give you guys a variety here while I click around. I'm gonna get going. All right, good to see you, man. Thanks for dropping in. Wasn't that one? I got a ton of photos of this fake hand. Uh, you got like storyboards from the movie, which is pretty cool. Uh, this, I like this. You see the mechanics with the hand, which is pretty awesome. Right in here. I got a few storyboards. But there was something here I had with the hand, and I can't remember what I did with this photo. Um, it's not in there. It's not with the Legend of King Kong stuff. It's not with any of these. Let me check. Uh, let's do one more here. It's not there. I'm going to check somewhere else. No, that's the stuff we shot. Uh, not under lives. Is it miscellaneous? That was under miscellaneous. Hang on. Let me check the miscellaneous section. I do like this cartoon, though. Wait, no, that's a storyboard. That's from a, uh, I can't remember what this was from, but it was something in particular from the uh, production. One of the con canceled Kong productions. Huh. Bloody hell, why can't I find this thing? Alright, thanks for so much, Super Michael 98 Really appreciate you sending those super chats and helping us out. Really goes a long way in uh, our productions. Because that that's fantastic. Thank you. Um, good to see ya. We're probably actually going to come back tomorrow and do more. But for now, I can't find it here. Let's try this one. It might be in here. The music I'm hearing, where is it from? It's from Skull Island Reign of Kong, Dean. Uh, the ride at Universal Studios, Florida. Okay, so it's not in there. So it's going to be somewhere here. Let me dig through here. Ugh. Sorry this is taking so long to find one goddamn image. It's insane. I had it. It was in a miscellaneous file. And I lost it. I'm like, great. fan freaking tastic All I have one Inuyasha game. Um, all right. Okay, here we, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, let's see. It took a minute. Wow. I don't know why it's taking so long to produce shit here. Uh, 
It's not in the articles. What the hell is this piece? I'm actually, like, I had this thing and it disappears. This has been my whole day today finding photos and articles. Oh, that'd be cool, actually, to see those, man. That'd be really cool. It's not in the newspapers. I know that. Now we're just taking forever to find one piece of photo photography here. Let's check this one, actually. If I kind of just dump the cast and crew stuff here. What's the funniest thing you've ever felt, blooper, you've ever filmed? I think it was when we were shooting Kong, and it was where Denim kept doing that. I'm shooting this movie car. No, no, what it was, I know exactly which one it was. But before we get to that, let me just find this goddamn thing. This one goddamn photo. And it's just the bane of my freaking existence to find. I had it, it's gone, and I can't find it. And I'm just so fuming. What were your scrapped ideas from previous seasons? Like, scrapped episodes? What are episodes I canceled on? I've never really actually canceled an episode. I still do the episodes. It's just more of the episodes get delayed. Is really the only cursed thing. In regards to reviews. But I can't remember a movie I ever cancelled not reviewing. You know what, actually? I had planned at one point when it was relatively new to discuss Bad Grandpa. As like my, my sort of my discussion on Jackass. But I never got around to doing a script or even coming up with an idea for it. So that, that episode was actually scrapped. So there you go. Yeah, this is taking forever. <laughs> My god. Maybe if I move some stuff here. Let's try this. Again, I was just trying I've always I've just lost to one photo that I had and I and I lost it. What is going on? Okay, here we go. Now I might have it. Now we might have it. Okay, please be in here. For the love of God, please be in here. Oh my god. Fuck, why is it not in here? Yeah, I mean, it would be cool, like, because I've always, I always thought about doing, like, my own take on Jackass. At one point, there was a moment in time I was going to do that, and that never really subsidized. But, yeah, that never happened. Let me see if I can find it. Um, we go to, it's got, I know I have it here somewhere, guys. Just give me a sec. Is it anywhere in here? Fuck, no. There was like a whole thing that showed the, um, the prototype. And I lost it. I don't know where I, what I did with it. I'm so sorry this is taking forever, guys. Just give me a sec. It's not in New York. No. No, no, no. It's not there. Not in the presentation. Not the ship. Um. Hmm. Under the, did it be under the props? No, it can't be under the props. Okay, worst case scenario, we say, fuck it, we'll come back. I'll find it later. If it's not here. If it's not here, fuck it, I'm gonna find it later. Here, you know what? Let's let's just keep going. Yeah, I just lost the damn thing. So, we're just gonna keep moving. But it was sort of a, uh... You see, like, the hand in, like, one shot with, like, the brushes and everything. And I just can't remember where the hell it was in this, uh particular mashup of photos and stuff. I have so many photos from this production that I can't keep track of them anymore. I might have to go back and reorganize some of them. 
But yeah, let's see here. Uh, got that. Got a lot of these. A lot of that. Just scroll up here. This one. It's not that one. It's um. Not the famous monsters. There's a really good picture of the frickin' thing. Is the search for the lost picture. Saw the eclipse on Monday. Nice! Again, guys, thanks for keeping the, ch the uh, chat occupied while we look for this thing. I'm so sorry this is taking so long. Just this happens sometimes when you're... Like working on tons of videos, and you get then you lose a couple of things in the process. So I do apologize. This has taken a while. Uh, there's just so many photos to go over and find all this shit, you know. Uh, and it's not under the press junk yet. It's not in the suit. It's not there. I had this photo and it's gone. I'm like, damn it. No. Okay, fuck it. Get to the Jesus. The details later, but this hand is what raised the confused rumor that Okay. There was a production goof that they had built two right hands. No, this piece, from what I could find, was... Okay. We're good. Let me go back down. I have to organize this a little better. I'm so sorry that took forever, guys. So I want... Which shot did I want? That was really good here. Not that one. We already used it. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. It's so disorganized, it's not even funny at this point. Um. Okay. I feel like I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh. Let's see. Ever played Tetris? I love Tetris on Game Boy. It's great. Great game on Game Boy. It's not there. Uh, let me find... Uh, storyboards, production, hands. Okay, so it was one of the, I remember it was a photo that I really liked that was around here that we hadn't used yet. Uh, fuck. No. No. That one! Got it! Ha! <coughs> this piece, from what I could find, was never used again, given it was essentially a diorama display with brush and greenery. Alright, so I'm actually going to switch these around. Um... Actually, no, uh, hang on. This piece, from what I could find, was never used again. Okay, because we got more better photos and stuff. Yeah, like, there we go. Did we already use that photo? I can't remember if we did. We used that one. Let me make sure we don't, like, repeat using the same photos. That's the biggest pisser when you... Nah, I like that one, actually. There we go. Okay. Okay, I just want to make sure... Okay, no, fuck, we already used it. See, sometimes you use the same photo again. You don't want to get fall into that trap. 
Did we use that one? I think we did. We did. And we use that one. And we use that one. And we use that one. I gotta go through these photos again, guys. So sorry. Uh, yeah, these ones we haven't used. Okay, these ones we have not used. There we go. Okay, that's it. Never been yet to find in raw form, and was probably scrapped to the. Yeah. Okay, we got this. We got this. We good. There we go. Which here is our first really complicated spotlight, and an easy one like at that. This particular hand was made from plaster, from the same molds as the full size sculpted hands, which was handed over to mechanical Italian master Carlo Rambaldi. We'll get to the details later, but this hand is what raised a confused rumor that there was a production goof that they had built two right hands for the film. This piece, from what I could find, was never used again, given it was essentially. All right, here we go. Again, thank you so much in the chats uh, for the moderators for uh, keeping track of things while we're we were so preoccupied in finding one piece. So that that was a bitch to find. I'll check one more check. Yeah, because I gotta go through my files and figure out where that pe where that where that picture went. Uh. No. No. It went somewhere. It disappeared. Okay. Won't worry about it right now. It's essentially a diorama display with brush and greenery for the press jump. And this is where we're also going to go to pan and zoom. Zoom out. I'm also gonna turn out the music, guys. Sorry. Hang on a sec. Also, let me know if you want me to switch the music. to your ears. Okay, fantastic. Face it here? No. It's not there. I swear I had this, this photo of the big hand, but it was like a brush or something. I have to go through my files. Hey Luke, good to see ya! Use that. We already used that photo. I use that one. We already used that one. It's not that. But interesting enough, an online website by the name of Tom Spadina Designs created an almost ex Okay. Yeah, wouldn't be under the ship. That's a given. 
wouldn't be under the wall. I remember putting it there. Wasn't under construction. Wasn't under filming. Hmm. Wall. I'm just gonna do one more of these. Doubt it's in. Let's check, uh, Skull Island. Definitely not that. Quiet log laid. Wall. Rat part. I'll just I'll put the rat party in there actually. But I doubt it'll be there. Go to costumes actually. <sighs> no, and actually, if I go to the King Kong website that I'm on, because this is where I get a bit of my information as well. It might be in here. Let me check here. Lobby cards, press books and newsletters. Let me check here. It wouldn't be under here, I don't think. I remember seeing it, I think, on this website. It wouldn't be under here. Want it? No, these are all press photos. Uh, press book? No, it wouldn't be under the press box. This is all the newspaper articles and stuff. Um, press book supplement. Add supplement. Articles. Uh, news article. Um, hmm. No, it wouldn't be there. It wouldn't be here, I don't think. Cause there's like an article that had had the stuff, and I just can't remember where it was. Um, I bet you if Kong was real, I bet you'd want him to study him on that Skull Island. I definitely would, for sure. Press book of newsletters, newspaper articles, magazine articles. I'm pretty sure I had a piece that had that photo, those photos. Huh. Yeah, that's gonna bug the hell out of me. Maybe after this Japanese piece. Would it? No, 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 no. This is all black. Okay, hang on. Maybe. Doubt it. Yeah, it wasn't under there. Which is strange, because I had- yeah, there was like a whole piece I had that, um, feature a lot of these images. Um, I can't remember what the hell happened to it. That's so weird. Uh, video and audio, collectibles, art, links, uh, Wikizilla, Master Reels, Magnets, Keychains, home video, uh, damn. Scrap lobby cards, press book I already went there. Scrap articles. So I want to make sure I find this god, this freaking photo when they were on, when they were on set. And it had the hand on there. I'm so determined to find this now. I'm so sorry, guys. I had this, and now I miss it. I'm like, what the fuck? Wait, whoa, 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 hang on. Was it under the newspaper articles? 
It might have been. Hang on. No, no, no. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. Hang on. There was a newspaper article that I think that had it. It's just this picture of the hand. That was a really good picture. I'm going to feel so stupid if it's in here. Son of a bitch. There it is. Okay. There it was. Son of a bitch. I'm dumb. That's the image I want. You see uh, right there? Right there? That's what I was going for. Some bitch. There it is. Okay. Son of a bitch. It was the dumbest thing, and I couldn't find it. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? That took me forever. I am so sorry. What is your Tetris high score? Um... Again, I haven't really, I don't really keep track of high scores. Sent you a picture of the collection. Very nice. Again, I really appreciate everybody in the chat. Super chats are always welcome. We made a lot tonight. I'm very impressed, actually. Thank you all so much. Sorry that took forever. My God. That was like half my day today finding all this shit. Just actually take a break here. Let's read some, get, catch up on the chat. Since most of the world is now a world dominated by mammals, what's seen knife about the world? I know King Kong was taking New York City, but I'm surprised Carl didn't film, film crew didn't capture it. I mean, I'm surprised they didn't film any dinosaurs while they were there. I mean, they tried to, but they got destroyed. Loving the music from Reign of Kong. Thank you so much. Again, to all those who did super chats tonight. Really appreciate all this. Really comes along in our um, our productions and helps uh, finance. Hey, I've been watching those Deadwing Dork live streams. Hey, ha Harry Henry, I'm glad you were a good sport about those. They were legit worried you'd take down your reviews, but since someone they previous covered had done so, honestly, no. Like I appreciate the um, the sheer amount of uh, hilarity that comes with it. I guess is the word. Um, with Deadwing Dork's live streams. Uh, if you guys don't know, Deadwing Dork, popular YouTube streamer who reacts to stuff, he uh, found my content, and I was going along with the joke. I thought it was hilarious. I thought he was extremely funny. And um, what was really cool was um, seeing him, you know, talk about my stuff. And he got halfway through part two, waiting for him to do the second half, but I really want to see his reaction to part three. So that's, um, that's what I'm waiting for. Uh, yeah, I did a review of Waterworld already, but thank you for so much for coming in, Harry Henry. Really appreciate that. All right, let's get this photo in here, for the love of God. We're only three minutes in, and we, and we haven't gotten to that. Okay. Where is that fucking photo? That was such a hassle. That really was bugging the hell out of me. Why I couldn't find that photo? Where is it? 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 Where are you, you little bastard? There's the son of a bitch. There we go. Aha! Oh, hang on. I have to put back on. I have to put you on the stream. So sorry, guys. Got to put back on. Um, have you heard of Alex the Hunted? I have heard of him. Interesting. Like, I, I do know who he is. He's kind of cool. Um, I'll check it later, Shark King. I will check all that later. But again, thank you all so much for jumping in on this. Like, this has been fun. This is really good to get these out there. Okay. Let's crop this fucker. Aha! There we go. I'm also, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to zoom out on him. Let's go here. Let's go here. Now yeah, we're gonna zoom out. There. Yep. Yep. I'm just gonna crop it a little bit. 
Mm-hmm. Like Carl's birthday is in 1987. My birthday is August 21st. Wow, that's interesting. All right. Yeah, that looks way better. Way better. Okay. See that? That's what I was looking for. Now let's play this all back. Okay. From the same molds as the full size sculpted hands, which was handed over to mechanical Italian master Carlo Vivaldi. We'll get to the details later, but this hand is what raised the rumor that there was a production boom that they had built two right in. Well, this piece of what I could find was never used again, even though it was essentially a diorama display with Russian greenery, press junket, along with the amazing of that that we can't ever find in the and Okay, so that's what we were looking for. Now we can continue. Now we can continue with the rest of our journey. Thank you for your patience. So there's a bit here I really like. There's a photo that was really good of Jessica Lang I want to quickly use. My birthday is February 6th, 1992. For those wondering. Let's see here. There we go. Let's just use this one again. This one's okay. And was probably scrapped to the dumps afterwards. But interesting. So that's where we're gonna go here. There. This is where it's gonna get kind of cool, actually. This is actually where it's really cool. So this is an actual costume from Jessica Lang from the film that somebody got and they ordered a full uh, a full like size Kong bust to be put with it which is interesting so let me just try to find a bit here I can use but I want to wait to get the look at this but interesting enough an online website by the name of Kong's Medina Designs there we go created an almost exact That here. And what I'm gonna do, this is gonna be kinda cool. I'm gonna make this a really cool image. Actually, you know what? Better idea. Zoom out. You should do a review of what where in the, where's where the fuck is Carmen San Diego? I didn't know there was like a was well, that a parody? I mean, like, again, uh, either opening nights or, um, uh, $100 Super Chats and Patreons and stuff, like, that is where, uh, you can ask me for that. So, go horizontal. Here. Yeah, somebody had built, like, a full set, which is interesting. I should get going. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Light Post Films, for um, um, requesting that really funny bit. But also, thank you for the super chat. That really goes a long way, man. Really, really appreciate it. I think we're probably going to go till midnight, and then we're going to call it a night. Okay. 
Okay. And a design created an almost exact replica of the press conference hand for a display piece on one of just collect. This is where it's gonna get interesting. I love Daniel, David Lynch encouraged Naomi Watts to play Anne. Really? I didn't know that. Like, I know Jackson had chosen her after she saw he saw her in the ring. But then, was it him that encouraged her to say, you know what, do it? I'm like, wow, okay. That's cool, actually. This is where it gets interesting. He's on one of Jessica Lange's screen-used native costumes. It's unclear where this display stands today, given the website's client was closed as private, but... Okay. It's unclear where this display stands today, given the website's client was closed as private, but it's good to know that one of the costumes of the film is in good hands. There we go. Okay. We're doing good, guys. We're doing pretty good. It's unclear where this display stands today, given the website's client was closed as private, but it's good to know that one of the costumes for the film is in good hands, no pun intended, and in the returning comfort of Call of Duty Paul. Production began on the legend... Okay. We're making progress now, guys. We're making really good progress with the four-minute mark. Out of 43 minutes. God help us all. Alright, so what's cool is this uh, episode is going to feature a brand new print of the film, and it's going to be using the um, the Blu-ray release of the extended TV cut. So. I'm going to... That I'm also gonna bring the music down too, by the way. How about seven? There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna go to eleven and then we're gonna call it a night. And that works pretty good. I like that. It's been mostly just photos from the production, so I'm just like, great. We did some hey, super chat! Wow, wow. Okay, Mark Parker, thank you so much for that super chat. Really appreciate it. Really goes a long way. Super chat number eight. No, number eight. Uh, number eight. Uh, really appreciate um, doing that, man. That's that's incredible. Um, fantastic. Thank you so much. Uh, that goes a long way, uh, for our end. Guys, Super Chats are always welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. That goes a long freaking way. 
my god. Okay, let's get back to business. We're gonna get the ship photos, which is cool. No worries, Night Fury. So we're going to use um, some photos here. If there are any good ones. Okay, there's no good photos of them shooting on the first day, eh? Wow. I'm surprised there's no photos. You know what? Let me try to find that. Hang on a sec. Pretty sure there's gotta be a uh, shoot here. Um, first of all, I'm gonna grab some of these shots here. Um, yeah, I'm surprised there was like no shots from the first day, which is interesting. Um, because the first day of shooting was literally the first shot, which is interesting. But I want to see if there's any behind the scenes photos. But I don't see any at the moment, so we'll come back to this. But let me go to the movie. So let me put you guys back on. Okay. Let's go back to the film. We'll take the first scene shot from the film. Um... Um, that's a good, I like these shots, these shots will do. Yeah, these, these will do for the first, for the first bits. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if you guys have seen the extended TV cut, but there's like so many shots that they, that you can now like get on, on the print, which is really cool. Um, so let's go here. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'll take the deleted scenes. Oh shit, hang on. Lost you guys in the chat. One moment. Uh, we're gonna go to. There we go. Here, we're gonna start. We're gonna start at the first shot in the extended TV cut. Which is right here. There we go. Good start right there. I have seen Cog76 in a while. Yeah, it still holds up, actually. Surprisingly enough. There we go. Okay. Well, production began on The Legend is Reborn the following day after the press report on January 15th. Production began on The Legend is Reborn the following day after the first one did. On January 15th, 1976, at the San Pedro... Let's bring it out a little bit, just kind of make it a little less obvious what we're doing here. Production began on The Legend Is Reborn the following day after the press conference on January 15, 1976, at the San Pedro Docks in Los Angeles, California. Uh, yeah, 
under the cover tonight, and oddly enough, the everybody i'll see you next time thank you so much for coming in curtis really appreciate it Might as well say it, I find the first one a guilty pleasure just because it's fun. Yeah, it is! In, in of the movie in which Jack Prescott stows away onto the American merchant vessel, the Petrot Explorer, casting off from Surabaya. After two to three nights of shooting, the ship took off with... Nope, oh, don't want that. There we go. That's funny, I kind of realized they kind of used the same shot. Which is interesting. They, they kind of used the same shot for the opening credits of the extended cut, which is funny. Some nice shots without it. See, let's see here. All right, let's see. Here. Using a lot of the extended TV cut, which helps actually. It really does help uh, get the pace down too. Just imagine if Donald as Fred Wilson in the film. Uh, Donald Duck? Apparently Disney artist Don Ross imagined his vision of Donald Duck. See, that'd be funny. That'd be really funny, actually. Make sure that there. There we go. That works. Two to three nights of shooting, the ship took off with the crew along the Channel of L.A. and the Catalina Islands, where all of the ship's exterior shooting took place for a week's worth with the... Okay, so this is where we gotta kinda look around for some stuff I might have handy. Let's go 
to stay here. Got some storyboards, as you can see there. Hmm. I suppose I never got any shots of them, anything from like the inside or any like photography, like any production shots. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, hmm. New York. You know, I'll use those, these shots here actually. For all of the ship's exterior shooting took place for a week's worth, with the interior scenes shot at the. I like that actually. Okay. Let's bring this up. There we go. I like changing it up a little bit too, which is nice. Hope oh, everybody's doing good in the chat. Sorry I'm a little quiet here, like focusing on some of the catching up on some of the videos here. So we're gonna kinda move this actually. Islands, where all of the ship's exterior shooting took place for a week's worth, with the interior scenes shot at the studios, including a nipple set, a storm scene. Yeah, okay, yeah, I forgot about that. Let's go to the uh, storm scene, actually. Stay here. Mm. There we go. With the interior scenes shot at the studios, including a gimbal set. Gimbal set for the storm scenes. During the ex I'm gonna kind of bring this out a little bit. Interior scenes shot at the studios, including a Yeah, the fact that it's a set, actually, that so so the thing is, like, the sets of the interiors of the Petrarch's Explorer was, they couldn't obviously shoot it in a real storm. So they had to put the interior sets, this is something you should learn in filmmaking, guys, they had to build the set that was on a gimbal, so that it would move with the actors. So the interiors were all, in, all inside were actually just a set, which is kind of interesting. So you can see, uh how like this was all a set so Jeff Bridges was on a stage that was meant to replicate the ship and they would rock it back and forth and put tanks on them. The studios including a gimbal set with a storm scene. So you get an idea of like how they filmed this stuff back then. By the way, anybody in the chat, you ever been to like a cruise and been through a storm like that? I'm curious about that. Weeks. With the interior scenes shot at the studios, including a gimbal set of storm scenes. During the exterior shooting, and both of them place the rest of the Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. I think I photos of that. No, I don't know. Maybe. I don't think so. Okay, so this is where I have to kind of come in and add some stuff. There we go.
Here we go. I've never been on a cruise because my mom usually would get seasickness. Interesting. I've been in raining days on a ship, but nothing that stormy. Wow. Oh, how's that feel, Henry? I'm actually curious about that. What's that like? The raft was being surrounded by sharks. Ironic, given Dina De Laurentiis was trying to compete. Favorite villain and adversary to Kong. The original T-Rex is always going to be my favorite, honestly. here I'm kind of disappointed in myself is that I don't know if I have any uh, videos of sharks that I could use to describe this from like I want to use a movie I want to use Orca but I don't think I have it handy let me check my archives hmm Do I have Orca handy? I don't think I do. Damn. I'm gonna have to check that later. Okay, let me just take a break here for a sec, guys. I'm gonna take a quick little break, and uh, we'll be right back. So don't touch that dial. Uh, I have to go dig around for something quickly. But yeah. Let me just uh, pull up the um, break moment, because I do have to take a quick little break. And we'll be right back after these messages. See? And I'll see you guys in a moment. So just hold your horses and don't touch that down, because we'll be right back. <laughs>
Okay, we're back. Sorry, guys. I had to make a little thing of popcorn. I was hungry, so uh, we're going to get back to work on this thing. So let me just uh, get on here, and we're going to get back right on to work. All right. How are we all doing tonight? Feeling pretty good. Okay. Let's get back to business. Okay. Okay. Let's see if everybody's still here. So we got another half hour. We're gonna edit and then we're gonna call it night. We're gonna end about midnight. So I have to get some stuff from Orca. Caught filling the gap here. Hopefully we can maybe get the last five minutes done here. If I go to scenes with Orca, utilize them. Mm. So this whole shark scene is like perfect for this. what they got here. Right. Anytime I can use stuff from Orca, it's great. shots from this movie. The music's from Skull Island Reign of Kong, Shane. The uh, ride at Universal Studios, Florida. Time to use a, I don't know exactly a piece I want to use here. It's a piece of fan art, actually. Let's see. It's a piece of fan art I really liked. Yeah, this. I want to use this for a while. King Kong versus Jaws. Apparently. This was made by by AI art or something. I don't know. Chronic 
given Tina Delorentes was trying to get people killed. There we go. I'm eating popcorn, actually, guys. Really, ever since I've been going to the movies, I'm kind of getting back into popcorn a little bit. I love this club I love of Dino. That's really funny, actually. Um, it's a great interview with him. Where he's, um, you'll, you'll see, let me find it here. Um, yeah, this interview. I always love using this interview as an example. Right here, where he actually is asked, um, this bit that's really funny. Let's see. Let me just turn this down so you can hear it, guys. Um. Yeah, here we go. All right, this is really funny. That should turn up a little bit too. Right here. How is uh, Kim Kong doing? Fantastic. You never imagined the world. We've been for the first three days in the United States. Seven million months. We brought them. This is a great interview. In Japan, in France, in Italy, it's just, just fantastic. Now, I know from, from reading about you what you want to do with Kim Kong. Is... Okay, I want to for sure. Just fantastic. Now, I know from... from... I'm going to use this hair. From reading about you what you want to do with Kim Kong is... There we go. I'm reading about you what you want to do with King Kong is you want to you're out to beat Jaws. You want the gorilla to beat the shark. No. Are you going to do it? One day one uh, guy said to me, what? I can put the scene in which King Kong beat the jaws. <laughs> <laughs> Just reach down into the ocean and pick it. Was, it was a joke. I, 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 lo I love that interview. It's like, why don't you just have a scene where King Kong eat the jaws? <laughs> Um, I'm reading about you, what you want to do with King Kong is you want to, you Let me just like, from that down a little bit here. You want to beat Jaws. You want the gorilla to beat the shark. No. Are you going to do it? There we go. Jaws. You want to beat Jaws. You want the gorilla to beat the shark. One day, one uh, guy said to me, Why you don't put the scene in which King Kong beat the jokes? <laughs> <laughs> Just reach down into the ocean and pick up the jokes. They should use this kind of down. There we go. That's the scene we need there. Now, on to finding. Footage of the RV Melville. That's what we need to find here. Let's see here. No. Oh. Hmm. Ah, oh, here we go. This bit here. This ship.
I wonder what if Jaws replaced the Great White and Megalodon. That'd be interesting. Again, so sorry guys if I'm a little bit quiet during the stream as I'm uh, also eating. I'm just grabbing some images here. Hmm. Mm hmm. Let's see here. I'll go now, I'll be good for now. I don't know, I'm gonna use this here. There we go. Okay. The BRP. Oh, there we go. Probably known as a RV Melbourne. I'm just trying to find the right images here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That'll do. This will do here. Okay. It's okay. It's my good watching nothing but good leading editing. Yeah. Awesome. I so. everybody in the chat. Super chats are always welcome. The Algothamus was a real dinosaur. That'd be cool if it was. Was the RV Melvin a U.S. Oh, that's way too much crop there. I'm gonna have to fix that. Hmm. 
There we go. There we go. The RV Melville, a U.S. Navy research ship on loan from the University of California's oceanography courses. Um... Hmm. ...keeping in the old... The vessel was included in the significant. I think I'm gonna save that for later. We're gonna use a different piece. Oh, well, you are. Hey, Bob. There we go. Real species could uh, in dinosaurs. Gregorio Velasquez. The vessel was known as a R V Melville. Yeah, just trying to get these uh this footage of the ship, which is very hard to come by. Science pertaining to the study of algae and seaweed. Typewave propulsion drive capability to move sideways. This okay, we can go there. There we go. All right, we're gonna give it ten more minutes, and then we're gonna call it a night. Okay, guys. Oceanography courses. It's built and launched from 
Everybody's doing good in the chat. It's been, yeah, it's been really fun. Very concentrated, very focused, very chill. Very chill chat today. I hope everybody's having fun tonight. Launched from 1967 to 1968, the ship was named after Pioneer. There we go. Actually, it was it was today. I feel like today was a good vibra vibration I needed. Yeah, a lot of people. I know a lot of people today were feeling kind of meh, and I guess this stream kind of really brought people into the little bit of joy today. And I really appreciate everybody involved because you guys uh got me a ton of super chats, and I really appreciate the the help there, guys. Really do. Thank you. Really goes a long way in helping the channel. Oceanography courses. Built and launched from 1967 to 1968, the ship was named. Got some great shots of the ship, actually, which is really cool. Thank you and good night. Thank you so much, Night Fury, for coming in. I really appreciate you coming in, man. It's fun. A lot of people on the stream tonight. Really helping out. The ship was named after pioneer Arctic explorer George Melville. Built for a crew of almost 60, it served sailing the seas for oceanographic research along with scientific knowledge and exploration. So much so it would give Matt Hooper a It served sailing the seas for oceanographic research along with scientific knowledge and exploration. Okay, so we're just going to do that for now. 60. The ship was named after pioneer Arctic explorer George Melville. George Melville, okay. That's an interesting. I didn't know that. Hmm. Yeah, just trying to find some uh, research stuff here on the ship as well. So just bear with me, guys. Oh, I like that one a little bit more than, uh... oh, yeah, I like that a little bit more. Hmm. 
Let's see. Melville. Dear Arctic Explorer. And this sort of can add some like really good history to it too. Air Arctic explorer George Melville built for crew of almost sixty. It was named after pioneer Arctic explorer George Melville. There we go. That looks pretty good. A U.S. Navy research ship on loan from the University of California's oceanography courses. Built and launched from 1967 to 1968, the ship was named after pioneer Arctic explorer George Melville. Built after pioneer Arctic explorer George Melville. Built for a crew of almost 60, it served sailing the seas for oceanographic research along with some I feel like I want to take a bit more from the Melville because there's just so much on it. It's really good. Look at that. Uh, it's one great shot of it out. Yeah, I like this one. This shot out of it out at sunset, really good. I like this one. I really like that shot from the extended cut. There we go. It served sailing the seas for oceanographic research along with scientific knowledge and exploration. So much so it would give Matt Hooper a run for, Matt Hooper a run for his money. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna... Crew of almost 60, it served sailing the seas for oceanographic research along with scientific knowledge and exploration. So much so it would give... I want to add some Matt Hooper. Got to get some Matt Hooper in there, guys. All right. Do I have Jaws handy on me here? Go to... Uh, Close Gauntlet... I'll just look up Jaws, see if I have it. We should have it. Jaws 2. I have Jaws 1. I do have Jaws 1. Sweet. Yeah, that was uh, from the extended TV cut, actually. I just want to get a really nice shot of Matt Hooper. Um, that'd be really funny. Let me see here. I can find a really good shot of Hooper here. Let me find a good one.
Where's that part where he's like, oh, boys, I think he's come back for his noon feeding. Um, I can't remember what I had in the script. Let me check the script. Uh, did I come up with a joke here? Let me just check the script. I'm just finalizing it before we go to bed, guys. We end with a Hooper joke. All right. Let me see here. Let's see. Uh, okay, so it was a joke I added in later. So let me just, um, where's the noon feeding line? That's what I'm looking for. It's like, oh, boys, I think he's come back for his noon feeding. I think it's after, uh, was it after um, Quint broke the communications? Yeah, here. It's the shot right here from Jaws. I really like, oh, boys, I think he's come back for his noon feeding. Now, ah, that's the shot. That's the shot I want of Hooper. There we go. I think I know which joke I want to use, too, so... Give me a sec, guys. Matt Hooper won for his money. More there and go there. And there we go. Um, let me go to. There's a line I love that Hooper. Like, I, where's that part where Hooper does this in the movie where he's like, you know. Can't remember what scene that was. I think it was somewhere here. It was after the fishing scene, right? Like, it's during the- or during it? I think, or it's like, he's gone under the boat! There it is! That's what I want. I want that one. I don't know why it's funny. I think that's funny. I don't know why, I think that's really funny. I think that just adds to the charm here. Like, like, yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, movie. <laughs> Here we go. So much so it would give Matt Hooper a run for his money. Yeah, that's, that's the shot. I like that one. Let me just go back a bit. So much so it would give Matt Hooper a run for his money. Okay, that's enough. Okay, that's enough of the Jaws comparisons for now. It even had a system. Okay, so there we go. That that's what I like. That one I like. Okay, that's that's the one. Okay, that's enough of the Jaws comparisons for now. Let's gotta move it a little bit. There we go. Mm, there we 
There we go. Okay, I think we're gonna we're gonna stop right at the five minute thirty eight mark. There we go. Let's see. So much soap would give Matt Hooper a run for his money. Okay, that's enough of the Jaws comparisons for now. That there we go. I think that's pretty good. For his money. Okay, that's enough of the Jaws comparisons for now. It even had a system to connect the RV North, which Okay, so that's what we're gonna call it call it for now. So I'm gonna save that. But yeah, I think that's it for tonight, guys. I think we're gonna call it um in terms of just um how much we got done. Uh really appreciate everybody coming in for the night. Wow, we got three hours in. That's pretty impressive. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Um, we're going to probably maybe come back tomorrow with a game, uh, just to make up for we didn't do it today. It depends how I'm feeling, but it was good to see everybody here. A huge shout out to Henry, uh, Storm Master, Honey Bear, and Osiris for monitoring the chat. Really appreciate it, guys. But a huge thank you to our super chatters tonight. We had Mark Parker. Thank you so much. Lightpost Films. Again, thank you. Super Michael 98, uh, Brightside Dylan, thank you so much, and Toon King 1985. All of you guys really help contribute to the channel, and it's really appreciated on our end. Uh, we really appreciate everybody coming in for tonight. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna do a, a gaming stream hopefully, and um, might even try to do try to get something out for Friday just to make things a little simpler. But let me know your thoughts on the stream if you guys like these. And until the next video, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys there. Don't forget to support our Patreon. Project Film signing off saying to be continued. Later, guys.